One of the measures we haven't spoken about so far is the F statistic. Let's try to explain its essence and see how it can be useful to us. Much like the Z statistic that follows a normal distribution and the T statistic that follows a student's T distribution, the F statistic follows an F distribution. I'm calling it a statistic, so it is used for tests, right? You guessed correctly. The test is known as the test for overall significance of the model. The null hypothesis is all the betas are equal to zero simultaneously. The alternative hypothesis is at least one beta differs from zero. What's the interpretation? If all betas are zero, then none of the independent variables matter. Therefore, our model has no merit. Let's see the regression summary from the SAT GPA lecture. The F statistic is 56.05. The cell below is its p value. The number is really low, it is virtually 0, 0.000. We say the overall model is significant. The F test is important for regressions as it gives us some important insights. Let's see the table for the model where we added the random 1, 2, 3 variable that had nothing to do with anything. The F statistic is 27.76 and the p value is 0, 0.000. You can see the F statistic is lower. The model is still significant, but less so. The lower the F statistic, the closer to a non-significant model. This is yet another tool that allows us to compare models. Okay, that was the test for overall significance of the model. Don't forget to look for the three zeros after the dot. And thanks for watching.